Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, ball checks and ball check valves. Um, this is a ball check valve, also known as a blow-up preventer or a safety ball check valve or a gauge cock valve. Um, valves like this are used with glass gauges like this. Um, typically, the valve is installed in a not typically the valve is always installed in a horizontal position. Um, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to show it vertically so I can use gravity to manipulate the ball check. Okay, so we're starting here with a valve in the closed position. Um, because I'm holding it vertically, you can tell that the valve is closed because you can see the ball check rattling around in there. Um, there is a pin um, at the end of the stem, which you can't see it now, but you'll see it later. Um, and the pin is holding the ball check off of the seat. Um, and then on the stem side, the stem is engaged with the seat and that's what's making the valve closed. Um, the standard commissioning procedure, the first step is to open the valve a quarter turn or a half a turn. That's, that's all that is. Um, as you can see, the ball check is still not seated in the seat. That's very important for commissioning. Um, now it's difficult to see on the video, but you have to take, take my word for it, that the stem is no longer engaged with the seat. That will allow pressure, that will allow fluid to flow through the valve and into the gauge. Once the gauge is, once the level is, is once the gauge is filled up with the fluid, it's equalized with the tank, the next step in commissioning is to open the valve all the way. And now you can see the stem moving down and you can see the pin at the top of the stem. And so now the valve is fully opened. And if this valve was in a horizontal position, you would get good flow from the tank into the gauge. Now, what you may have noticed is the ball check has stopped moving around. The ball check has fallen into the seat and has now sealed the, the valve. That is um, exactly what we want to have happen if there's an upset condition, if the glass breaks, if a gasket blows out. That's exactly the purpose of a safety ball check valve. It stops the flow of the process into the valve when the valve is open. Um, obviously during commissioning, we don't want that to happen because you want level to get into the valve. Um, if this happens, if you open the valve too far during commissioning, um, to, to reset the ball check, you would have to close the valve and again, watch that pin move all the way up and unseat the ball check. and then start the whole process over again. But during normal operating conditions, the, the valve is open, it's fully open all the time. Um, that's what makes the ball check so important. It can seat and it can stop flow even though the valve is open. Um, I just wanted to give a real quick, you know, minute or two description here on the ball check. This is an internal device. Normally you can't see it. Obviously I'm using a cutaway valve and that's why I have to put this in the vertical position. I can't hook this up to a tank and run process through it. Um, so I hope now everyone has a little bit better understanding of the ball check, of why it's there, of what it does. Um, and, and please contact Jurgis and Applications if you have any questions.